Maricopa's Success Scholarship Fund receives a gift of, what is that number? There's a lot of zeros there, $150,000. Um, the money is invested in stocks, bonds, and CDs. Uh, the CDs pay 3.25% interest, bonds pay 3.9%, stocks pay 6.4%. Maricopa Success invests 6,500 more in bonds than in CDs. Oh, it's not all even Steven. If the annual income from the investments is $71,27.50, how much was invested in each account? Ah, okay. Well, you know what we're going to do? S for stocks. And we'll pick this up. S for stocks, B for bonds, C for CDs. We've got three letters. You know what that means. We need three equations, don't we? Okay, so the first one is going to be the invested, the, the, the dollars invested. So that the, 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 Mar the Maricopa scholarship, it was a $150,000 gift they received. And then they took all of that, the money, that money, is invested in stocks, bonds, and CDs. So the amount invested in stocks plus the amount in bonds plus the amount in CDs is the whole amount. It says that money. So the whole $150,000 was invested in stocks, bonds, and CDs. So they must add up to be $150,000. Next, um, we've got the interest, the dollars of interest. It's going to earn interest. What does it say? Well, the CDs pay 3.25%. Got to make that a decimal, right? I'll put that over here by the CDs 0.03. 25C. The bonds 3.9%. So 0.039. And the stock 6.4.06. Stocks have to add up to equal the total interest. What's that? Um, oh, here it is. The annual income from the investments is this. That's the interest income. That's what they mean. 7,127.5, which is the same as 0.50. You see that? That's the interest. When it says income, they're getting their income from interest. Okay, so that's two equations. That's two equations, but we have three letters, so we need a third equation. Where's our third equation? Uh, what other fact have we not yet used? You see it right here? 65,000 more in bonds than in CDs. So does that mean 65,000 more added to bonds is CDs. No, that, that's a common, 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 common mistake. I've just seen it so many times over the years. I want to help you to not make that mistake. I'm going to give you two suggestions. Number one, just try putting in numbers and you'll see that just can't be real. That's my top, top, top encouragement. If you're going to go forward in math and science, you want to learn to be real. That really is, if I, if somebody who's asked me, um, you know, after a lot, 20, I've been doing now, 14 and like 20, yeah, wow, 28 years of teaching math, college math, 28 years. What, what, what is the one thing I would say to, uh, about people that are doing better, worse, trouble, what can help them with math? Be real. Be real about the math. People that are real, that are thinking about real life. Um, do better in word problems and all of math than people that are just moving letters around blindly, moving letters and numbers blindly. What do I mean blindly or being real? I mean, think about a real number. Like what if, what if there were $10,000 in bonds? Be real for a second. Just stop all of the moving letters around and just stop and be real for a second. Say, okay, wait a minute, hold on. Could this really be right? What if there were 10,000? Just making up a number. I don't know, but I'm just being real for a second. What if there were $10,000 in bonds? Well, then the CD, according to this equation, which is the wrong equation, the CDs would be 10,000 plus 65,000. CDs would be 75,000. Is that right? Does that fit the words they said? 
they invest 65,000 more in bonds. No, that would have the CDs being more. No, see, that's crazy. See, if you're just real for a second, you'll see that's bananas, bull bananas, right? Forget that. It's the other way. It's the other way. What, what do you mean it's the other way? It's 65,000 plus C equals B. Let's check it out. Is that right? What if C was 10,000? Well, then B would have to be 10,000 plus 65,000 would be 75,000. Does that fit the, what they're saying? Uh, 65,000 more in bonds. Yeah, bonds would be 65,000 more. Yeah, that's it. That fits reality. That's our third. That's our third equation. It's B equals 65,000 plus C. I turned it around, but it's the same thing. It doesn't matter, right? They're equal, so it doesn't matter which side you put stuff on. So now, um, one more tip for that. If you're having trouble with some kind of phrase in a math word problem, try to rewrite the phrase, rewrite it with an is, because is is equals. How could you rewrite that? Saying the same truth, but using the word is. 65,000 more in bonds than in CDs. Well, they're saying the bonds amount is 65,000, I'm using is, CD is, 65,000 more than CDs. That's what they're saying, right? 65,000 more in bonds than CDs. So the bonds is 65,000 more than the CDs. See it? See that that's exactly right. B is equals 65,000 more, more is plus than the CDs. That's, that's correct. See it? That's another way. So if you're having trouble with an English in a word problem with some of the English and the way they, the way they put the sentence, try rewriting it with an is, where it still means the same thing, but it has an is, and then that'll be easy to change into math because is is equals in math. But the best thing is test it with real life numbers and then you'll know whether it's right or wrong in a million, this, this will help you in a million situations in math and science, be real. The more real you are, the more you will not make mistakes because you'll be keeping one foot in reality. All right, so what are we gonna do now? We're gonna begin the process which is slow and painful <laughs> as you know we're gonna so first plug b equals 65,000 plus c in for b in the top two equations you know start with the easiest one that's that last one right this one right here just take this, that's what B equals, that's what B is. So plug it in for B there, plug it in for B there, right? All right, what's the uh, top equation? becomes S plus, and then what, what is B? 65,000 plus C, plus C equals 150,000, and then the, the middle equation, what does it become? Mm -hmm. 0 0.064, and we know S, that's a funny looking S, plus, and then it's going to be 0 0.039, right, I moved those decimals back two places, didn't I, times B, what is B? 65,000 plus C plus 0.0325 C is seven, one, two, seven, 50. Now, why am I doing that? Because see what we have here? Two letters. We only have S and C. So we only need two equations when we just have two letters. See how beautifully that worked? By plugging the B, the easiest equation, the bottom one, the B, into the other two, we got rid of the B from the other two, and now we just have S and C. All right, let's clean them up. Go to the second step. Clean up. 
No, let's call it clean up. What do you mean? We'll clean up the top. S plus I'll just bring it down, bunching at first. So there's the top. How can I clean that up? Well, first off, you can subtract the uh, 65,000 from both sides. Right. Boom. And that'll be S. And then C plus C, 2C equals and subtract that on your calculator. And you get 25,000. So we cleaned up that first. There we go. Cleaned up that first one. And now for the middle one. So now let's clean up the middle. What's the middle? The middle's messier, isn't it? So that's going to be 0 0.064. S plus 0 0.039. Let's grab that middle one there. 65,000 plus C plus 0 0.0325. C is 7, 1, 2, 7, 50. Okay. Distribute. Oops, I kind of missed on that second one. There we go. So, because we're doing cleanup right now. Nicer. Multiply this and this on your calculator. I have no idea what that is. Uh, 2535 plus 0 0.039C plus 0 0.0325C is 7, 750. All right, what's this? These two guys can combine. So this is 064S. Oh, and let's subtract 2535 from both sides. You get there, boom, boom. Plus, and then add these two on my calculator. 0.039C plus 0.0325C. I'm getting these two to be 0.0715C. That equals um, 7127 5 minus 2535 equals 4. All right, so we cleaned up. So second step, we cleaned up the two equations. So now third step, we can uh, solve them, right? You know what to do here. We got two equations, so third step. Cancel what? Um, Cancel S's, it looks funny, S's in front. So let's write the two equations. So we get our two equations now. What's the first one is, is it, oops. So the top one has become S plus 2C. Is eighty five thousand. The bottom one is point oh six four S plus point oh seven one five C equals four five nine two point five. Okay, so now that we have the two equations cleaned up, lined up. Now we can cancel the S's in the front. How so? I, I should say multiply to make opposites and cancel the S's in the front. You know what I mean, right? I'm gonna multiply this top equation by negative 0.064 because that'll make it 
Right, it'll go boom, boom, boom. And what are we going to get? Negative point oh six four s, and then times two point four times two eight point six four. So it's negative point one two eight c. That is negative point oh six four is multiplying the s, the two c, and then the eighty five thousand. Negative five four four oh. Bring down the bottom equation, which is point oh six four s, right? Plus point oh seven one five c is forty five ninety two point five. Are you with me? I brought that one down. And put that one there. Right, how are we doing? Now we can add them up, bye-bye. That's what we mean by cancel the S's. We multiply to make opposites and cancel the S's in the front. All right, subtract these guys on your calculator. This, take away this, 0.0715, line front 128, equals negative 0.0. Five, six, five C equals four, five, nine, two point five minus five, four, four, O. Oh, this is negative eight, forty seven point five. Oof, we're getting closer. Divide by negative eight, five, six, five. Cancels. C equals. Oh, 15,000. Nice and clean. That's reassuring. C is 15,000. All right, we got home. We got one of the answers. So they should invest, 50, they are investing 15,000 in CDs. Now we got one answer. We got to get the other two. How are we going to get the other two, the bonds and the stocks? How are we going to get that? Well, you know, done this a couple times now. Um, now what we do on the fourth step is plug C equals 15,000 into the previous step. Oops, getting scribbly there into the previous step with only two letters. So go back to the previous step with only two letters, whichever, anywhere you want. I'm gonna for sure grab this top one. This looks way better than that messy bottom one. S plus two C is 85,000. So S plus two C is 85,000. Take this C is 15,000. Put it in right there. S plus two times 15,000 is 85,000. S plus 30,000 is 85,000. Subtract 30,000. And boom, boom. S is 55,000. So S is 55,000. We got S. We've already got C. We got one more to go. All right. So the last step, the fifth step, plug S is 55,000. C, whatever, C with 15,000 into any original. Go back to the originals. Any original, it doesn't matter. I'm going to grab the easiest one I can, which is right here where they all add up to 150,000. S plus B plus C is 150,000. 
So S plus B plus C, yes. Plus B plus C is 150,000. So plug in S right here. 50,000 plus B, I don't know. Let's keep B, oops. Okay. And then C. Equals the magic 150,000. All right, so add these 55 and 15. What is that? Some big number. 70,000, isn't it? 70 equals 150. And then you know what to do subtract. 70 because then boom b equals 80,000 is that right yeah 80 so b is 80,000 we got it so we got it b is 80,000 s was 55 so b is 80,000 come all the way back here b is 80,000 stocks was 55,000. There we go. All right, let's uh, let's uh, recap that real quick. What do we do? So right away, we recognize we're going to have three letters, stocks, bonds, and CDs, SBCs. So we're going to have to have three equations. The first one is total dollars invested. It says the $150,000 gift, the money is invested in stocks, bonds, and CDs. So the $150,000, S plus B plus C is $150,000. And the second one was the interest equation, which came out to that total income interest. And then the third equation was this little phrase right here. Um, right where? I don't know. I lost it. Success invests 65,000 more in bonds than CDs. So we rewrote that with an is statement. The bonds is 65,000 more than CDs. So bonds is equals. 65,000 more than CD. So step one was to plug that in. That's the easiest equation. Start with that guy, plug that in for B into the top and middle equation. And so we did that, plug it in there and there. And then we kind of cleaned up everything. You know, we just got the, got the S and the C, combined the C's, so just got S and C and the numbers. We got, basically got S and then C and then the numbers on the right. That's what I mean by clean up. S, C, numbers on the right. And same thing with the middle equation, we plugged in right there, distributed, got S, C, numbers on the right. So then we wrote down these two equations on third step next to each other. And then you know what we do, once we have two equations that only have two letters, S and C, we just make the fronts become opposites by multiplying by the opposite, negative 0.064, all the way through the top equation. Because whatever we do to one part, we have to do to all three to keep them equal. So we got that, the fronts canceled, we're able to find C. Then when, whenever you get one letter in a three equation problem, you back up to the previous step, plug in where you only had two letters. So I grabbed S plus two C is 85,000. Plug in the C, found S, then go back to any original, plug in S and C, found B. And so there we go. We're able to find all of them.